Thank you, Mr. President. The resolution before us would establish um, Walker Pickle Day of the Arctic um, this coming August. And when you uh, when you stop just for a minute to list some of the accomplishments of Walter Pickle, it really uh, it leaves you in awe. He was an influential proponent of statehood. He was our second governor elected in 1966. During that term, he appointed Ted Stevens to the United States Senate, beginning that extraordinary career. He was then the Secretary of the Interior for the entire nation. He was again elected governor in 1990. He was a successful businessman, and he was a resident of West Anchorage, Mr. President, <laughs> in my uh, <laughs> He wrote a book called Crisis in the Commons, and if uh, I could, with your permission, uh, Mr. President, uh, I would. I got him to sign that for me uh, when he was here in the Capitol a few years ago. I'd like to read just a few words from the opening pages of that book. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. If you or I were to travel the world's great open resource regions, too often we would see poor people living on rich land, and many of these lands are commons. We, the people of this world, own most of the planet in common. Our future depends on learning to use and develop this commons for the good of the total and not just for the few. Here in the far north, we built a new state based on that concept. It's the only place like it. The Alaskan people, through our state government, won ownership of much of our land and our natural resources. Using neither capitalism nor socialism, we have developed a new way to prosperity based on common ownership and rooted in constitutional democracy. We Alaskans have often disagreed amongst ourselves. We have fought over our personal visions, ambitions, and interests. But our land came first. It is so much bigger than any one person. The land welded us into one people and brought a new kind of state into the world, a state powered democratically by its commonly owned natural resources. In addition to being a, a man of action, Governor Hickel was a thinker. Mr. President, and it's, I think it's his thoughts that will uh, most uh, strongly live on after uh, he's passed. Uh, I believe he really marched to the tune of his own drummer, but it was a drumbeat that resonated with people in Alaska and all over the world. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs>